All right, crew, it's weekend. <laughs> Scooter reference for you. Uh, what's going on, guys? About 5.45. Yeah, you can tell I'm excited. Just finished up from a uh, long week of work and uh, about to have some fun this weekend. Woohoo! Um, Giggity, what's up, mate? Um, fun to have you on the stream earlier this week. Always enjoy chatting. And uh, yeah, buddy, I remember, mate, you had asked me a bit of time ago about uh you had inquired about a nest video cable um in relation to your vega jr here's mine pretty girl that she is <laughs> i'm excited to have this thing back in the setup yo so very cool but um i can't exactly recall what you had asked me um if you wanted me to look at the pinout or if you needed me to send you one but i'll just show you this real quick here's my old raijin box so if you see the uh the input um the <laughs> kind of the configuration of the pins, this shape. It's similar to like a Genesis and AES, but don't confuse that, they're not the same. Um, and actually for Sigma guns, a few of them, and um, the Vega Junior, pinout is the same and the configuration works with both of them. So um, I have two right here. This one's a little thicker, but it's the exact same. Um, I got this from James at Jamma Nation X, really cool guy out there in Hawaii. Um, the one that has a uh, composite and um, uh, audio, left and right audio on it as well. Now the one that I got, when I got this from Denks, um, he had an S-Video cable that was uh, just the S-Video and no audio on it. But you know the thing about the Vega Junior is that it's a little bit different how you get um, and you know, nowadays I just use RGB for all my stuff. And so it's different how I do things with audio anyway. But um, you know, with the Vega Junior, what you wanna do is on the SVHS spot, you wanna plug in one of those S video cables. And then how you get audio is you use the RGB spot to plug in like your composite connection with the audio. Usually they have a, you know, a composite video yellow and then the red and white audio, plug it in that way. Um, so, I don't know uh, exactly what, uh, I can't remember your question, but I'm just checking in real quick in a rush here. But uh, that's that, and just uh, let me know what you need. And uh, all right guys, talk to you later. I have a wonderful weekend. Actually, one last thing I'll leave you with, and uh, I really gotta dip, but, so, uh, some may call it long-winded, I like to call it thorough. So, I'll just explain this real briefly too, for anyone else who watches. Um, I run all JP21 pin RGB and Euroscart RGB on my cables with XRGB2 and 2 plus line doubler uh, devices, scaling devices. And so the way I get audio, and there are many ways to do different things. I'll just tell you how I do it. So for instance, you can see my red and white there on this Rockman the Power Fighter CPS2 board. Um, now, as you know, standard JAMA is just mono, so you're only gonna get one channel of audio. But um, highfalutin, high-fangled, high-tech boards such as the Capcom CPS2 hardware, which is way ahead of its time, has Q sound, stereo sound. So it's nice that a super gun such as the Sigma Raijin has a mono stereo switch. So you just flip that to stereo, go into the settings on your CPS2 board, Set it to stereo as well, and connect your red and white audio directly to um, an auxiliary uh, cable that plugs into a stereo system. That's what I do. And like THX clip speakers, they boom, they boom. It's awesome. Uh, and I've just kind of set this one up recently so I don't have my um, audio situation going with it at the moment. But um, you can kind of... Thank you. Sorry, I'm just, I can't find it. It's been a while, but there it is. It's it's back here. I'll kind of show you. I can do a more in-depth video on this, but there, there's the headphones section. So I've always just used a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug directly to a, like a PC speaker system. Get awesome results that way. And, um, you know, just from here. Another thing I'll show you is a Retro, ca uh, retro Gaming Cables UK. Uh, great guys they are to deal with. So this is a Sigma AV7000 SCART. That's the kind of box with the separate TB uh, LS32 Seimitsu equipped sticks. Uh, very cool one, has the uh, IndyCar Formula One car on it. But 
Um, a lot of the Sigma cables, as I've just talked about with the pinout with the S-Video cables, obviously the same thing applies with RGB cables. So uh, this RGB SCART Euro cable is compatible with uh, both of these guys. And since I'm using a Japanese line doubler, the Microsoft X RGB2 Plus, I have a JP21 pin, since that's the only input it takes. Adapter to Euroscart RGB to settle all that up. And I mean, I'll just show you this real quickly too, what I do with this. You know, I, I run all stereo boards with these things these days. So there is a Japanese Neo Geo MVS four slot motherboard. Um, obviously MVS multi-slot is GMA plus, so stereo, kind of similar in that regard to how you can get stereo from CPS2, but it's actually different. We won't go into that. Um, but so yeah, I've just got an actual JP21 pin RGB cable directly connected to this uh, line doubler. And again, with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, got it going right to like these uh, Logitech uh, PC speakers. So that's kind of many ways to field dress a moose, <laughs> you know, um, as the saying goes. And that's just kind of how I do it. And uh, Giggity, hopefully all this answers any questions you may have had. Sorry if some of this is redundant, but I figure other people might find the information useful too. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend. See ya. Peace.